Hey everyone, Creatively Kara here, and my channel is all about taking you along on my creative journey with me. Today we're going to be doing a what's in my bag video, and I'm using the Delphonics bag, and I've seen a lot of other bullet journalers use this, and it really piqued my interest, so I decided to get one for myself, and I'm really excited. I cannot wait to share with you what I have in here, and potentially maybe I'll do an update video since this is kind of still new to me, but this is what I plan to be carrying around in my bullet journal bag. So let's take a look. Now, before I got this, I was using this like winter bag. Um, it's more meant for like purses, and yeah, I mean, it worked, but it wasn't quite what I wanted. So once I heard more about the utility pouch from Delphonics, I was super excited. So um, let's go ahead and dive into what I've put inside my bag. To begin on the front here, this is where I have a majority of the pens and markers at. So these are my Tombow Fudineske pens. I like to kind of have access to those for whenever I want to do some hand lettering. Paper Mate Flare is one of my favorite um, felt tip pens. So I, I like to have that one on hand. And then this is just another fine liner. And then my Pentel brush pen. So this is just one of my favorite brush pens as well. And then I have my Faber Castell pens. Um, these are the Faber Castell Pit Artist pens, and they come in various sizes. I really love using these ones for zentangling. If you're not sure what zentangling is, I will link to my zentangle playlist here in case you want to check some of that out. It's a very relaxing thing to do, and it's just basically creating patterns and really having fun with it. My go-to pen right now, Sharpie came out with their own like gel pen and I love it. It's called S gel and I, I get the 0.5 size cause I like it to be a little bit smaller than the 0.7. And then I just have my ruler, pencil and an eraser in here as well. So I use those ones. And then this pocket's gonna be for my current color scheme for my theme. So we're still in July, which is my tropical floral theme. So I have all of those markers here because I often use those for my mood tracker. So I want to make sure that I have them on hand at all times. So that is really what's in the front. I still have this pocket empty, so I'm not sure what I'll put in here yet. Um, potentially more markers if it comes down to it. But um, yeah, I still have I still have some space there. Flipping on to the back side, there are three pockets back here. So this pocket, again, I don't have anything in yet, but I imagine I'd probably put some, some smaller items in there. This pocket here, I actually just created this, but I've always wanted to make my own little like washi tape travel samples, I guess you could call it. So just finding some like nice thick kind of plastic material works really well for this. And then you just add on whatever washi tape you want to take. I often use black washi tape a lot, but I'm really hoping to go out and get a lot of like sort of these grid ones. I'm probably going to have to buy some off Amazon. I've seen some on there, but um, yeah, so I want to fill that one up here. But the washi tape I used on this one were all of these a couple of them. This one's a duct tape brand and then scotch tape. And I really love the quality of their washi tape. And then these ones just came with other kits from like Michael's. So um, teal and yellow are kind of within my theme for August. So I, so I thought I'd start preparing for that. But um, yeah, I just have a little sample of washi tape there. And then inside this pocket, I have some stickers. Um, I went through a happy planner phase, so I bought a lot of happy planner stickers, which are not in here, but my goal is to start using them some more if I can start doing some more journaling and different things like that. So I wanted to include these in case I needed them. Um, that way I do have them on hand. And yes, this pocket is Velcroed. So um, if you wanna put anything in here so that it doesn't fall out, that is where you'd wanna put it. Okay, so that is the outside of the bag and there's these little handles here, so I imagine that I could easily clip on a strap or something to this if I really wanted to. So I think that's super awesome to be able to have that functionality. One thing I love about this is the zipper. The other pouch that I have does not have a zipper, and I think that's one of the things that really... <laughs> 
I don't know. I really didn't like that. I really wanted the zipper. So um, let's dive in quick in here. There's not too much in here, but there are four pockets on the sides. So this side has some of my Papermate flare markers, um, my, my Papermate flare pens, I should say. And currently I am doing some Beachbody programs and I'm trying to do the portion fix side of things for nutrition. So these are my portion fix colors so that I can track that in my bullet journal. So I have those on hand so I can make sure that I am tracking that as well. Um, here is where I did include a little bit of a happy planner sticker set. Um, these are just some quotes and like quick little easy sayings. So I thought that would be perfect to include in here. Uh, and then I also have a ruler artist loft. This has a bunch of different shapes. I honestly like haven't really used this, but I came across it when I was looking through my stickers and I thought I would give it a try because I know that this stuff can be really handy um, for creating different shapes and, and sometimes even lettering. So we will give that a try again because I want to try and start using my supplies more. All right, and then I have my headphones in here. These are some really like simple Bluetooth headphones. It's uh, The brand is Boltune. Um, I, I've been loving them. Um, they're not just like your pods. They have the, the neck strap, but they're magnetic, so they stick together. So I think that's pretty cool. But I love having these on hand for when I want to bullet journal or even when I'm doing art on my iPad so that I can listen to music or just kind of tune, tune things out. So I like to have that on hand with me as well. And then, of course, I have my bullet journal in here as well. So, um... That takes up obviously a bulk of the room inside the bag but it fits perfectly my a5 bullet journal um i'll give you guys a sneak peek of august real quick this is my august setup my august uh, plan with me it is on my channel i will link to it at the end of this video if you want to check it out um i'm really happy with it and it's a perfect theme for concluding summer and i cannot wait to use it Thank you all so much for tuning into my video today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, bye-bye.